As Danny Lopez fought for life for several weeks, but ultimately lost that battle after several complications from the virus. His family is now left heartbroken and planning a funeral. KPRC 2's Bill Barajas joins us with their story tonight from the Texas Medical Center where he spent the last days of his life. Bill? Well, Danny Lopez's battle with the coronavirus lasted five weeks. He lost that battle just four days ago. The husband and father of seven leaving behind, as you can imagine, an unimaginable void. Just hang in there, babe, okay? Hang in there. We love you. So His family's love never wavered. That he get to say goodbye, which breaks my heart because I never saw him after that. Danny Lopez was a father of seven. This is my favorite picture of me and my dad. His youngest, Carly Rose, is just seven years old. And then I like this one, my, my mommy, my daddy, and me. He and his wife, Sabrina, were happily married for 33 years. Despite that, Lopez died alone. I wish I could hug him one more time. I wasn't by his side when he needed me the most. Lopez was an engineer and a retired Galena Park police sergeant who served for 15 years. He tested positive for the coronavirus in December and was almost immediately admitted into the ICU. He got really sick. He had a heart attack. He had three, um, I'm sorry, he had 13 blood transfusions. Lopez was initially being cared for at Memorial Hermann in Cyprus, but was taken by life flight to Memorial Hermann in the Texas Medical Center for his final days. A decision Sabrina believes should have been made sooner. There was just no communication, and because you know how you're, you're, you're not able to be there. This mom now left to pick up the pieces, something she's not sure how to do. We were not prepared for this at all. We knew that COVID was out there, but never did we think it would hit our, the, our, bre our husband, our dad, or the, the, the man, a rock. And Lopez's funeral services have been scheduled for this coming Wednesday. His wife, Sabrina, telling us she will ask Galena Park police to honor her husband, but is yet to hear back from them. Family, friends, and loved ones have also set up a GoFundMe to help the family with any funeral expenses or expenses just in general that may come up. If you would like to help, just go to our website, click to Houston.com. You will find a link to that GoFundMe on this story. Just click on it. Live from the Texas Medical Center, Bill Barajas, KPRC 2 News. Bill, thank Thank you.